Hi, I'm Ricky. Today we are making a boat venture, an endless runner tutorial. In this episode, we are making bus collisions and a couple of entities to interact with. So, first thing we want to do, have a way to not go outside the screen. To do that, we don't actually use a box collision, we just clamp or position whenever we move. So, to do that, we go, we open our boat movement script, and at the end of the script, so after RB velocity, we just want to say if uh, our current position is larger than a certain value, then we want to go back uh, to the previous position. Let me actually zoom in. Okay, this should be better for you. So float post x equals transform.position.x and then post x equals and then this is called clamp mathf.clamp mathf.clamp is a function that given a certain value, so pos x, it returns that same value within a certain range that you specify. So if we say minus 2 and 2, it means that this value will always be within range of this uh, true. But we don't want a fixed value, we want to actually have it uh, changeable. So in here we'll say serialized field private load and we say x margin and by default we set it to 2. Okay, so in here we say minus x margin and x margin and then we want to have the x position of the boat to be equal to pos x. So we say transform.position equals new vector 3 pos x transform.position.y, transform.position.z. Okay, go back to Unity. Oh, in the meantime, I also renamed our current scene to, to be called uh, level, and I also made a new folder for our images. Okay, so boot player x margin 2, it means that when you go to here, you won't be able to move anymore. So let's try. And it works. Very nice. Okay, so next thing, let's make a couple of entities. First thing I want to make is a treasure or a coin. So I've downloaded my asset, my boot water PNG. And just like for the boot PNG, I'm gonna take away the compression. Same for the rock. So I go to none, hit apply. Now I want to make a new 2D object of type sprite and we call it booty and for the sprite we put booty water okay so this image as well is really big so I'm just gonna scale it okay so now we want to add a box collider to this booty this way when we touch the booty we we can collect it and I'm gonna set the collision to be a bit like this bit smaller, okay, and we want to make it a trigger, so we check its trigger. And we also want to add a tag to this entity, so we know when we are touching it, what we are touching. So we go to tag, add tag, and we make a new tag called entity. Okay, so let's go back to our beauty and add the entity. Perfect. Now let's make a prefab out of it, so we go to new folder called prefabs drag this in here and we also want to add a rich body 2d actually so let's go to our prefab rich body 2d okay and we will want this to be constrained on the x and we also want the rotation to be constrained and we should also the, take out the gravity scale but for now, we'll keep it to, to test. If we hit play, the boot is gonna go pass right through us because it's a trigger. What we want to happen is we want to be able to collect the booty when we touch it. So on our boot player, we make a new script. We call it boot collision. Okay. And in here, we want to say on trigger enter 2D. Make sure that it's on trigger enter 2D. I made this mistake way too many times. 
What this does is uh, it checks whenever we are touching uh, something with a collider set with uh, its trigger. And then we want to know if that something that we hit is, a, is an entity or if it's a booty. So we say if collision dot compare tag entity. Uh, so we, if we hit something with the tag entity, we want to destroy that something. So we say destroy collision dot game object. Okay. Go back to Unity, and we also want to add a collider to our boat itself. So we go to our boat, we say box collider 2D. Let's focus on our player. Let's make it a bit smaller. Yeah, it's better to make the collision boxes a bit smaller than the sprite themselves. So let's hit play, and it works very nice. Okay, so it's great, we can uh, collect our booty, but we also want to be able to destroy that booty if we don't catch it. So what we're going to do is build a safety net or a finish line that will uh, be under our boat, so right here, that will destroy every entity that it will found. So we make a new empty object, we call it finish line, we set it to zero, one, and we'll add a box collider to D, move it in here, so it's minus uh, 6, and we make it a bit bigger than the screen itself, so like this, and we're gonna set this to its trigger as well. Okay, so now on the finish line we make a new script, so we call it finish line, okay, and in here, same thing, on trigger enter to D, Okay, so the script in here is actually the same as the one in bot collision because for now we only care about uh, destroying the entity then later on, once we start building upon it we are actually gonna make a difference so like finish line is just gonna destroy the object while in bot collision we're also gonna add uh, a score and maybe add some extra effect, uh, stuff like that Okay, but for now if we actually don't uh, take the booty, so we're gonna just gonna duplicate one and test it. It should in theory destroy. Yep, it works. Very good. So now I'm gonna move these scripts in here, organize, and I wanna make a new prefab and I wanna make this an enemy. And I'm just gonna use the rock sprite for this one. So let's go back to our prefabs and let's uh, duplicate this beauty. Let's call it uh, rock. Let's open it up and we'll set the image to be a rock. What we want to do is being able to differentiate between booties and rocks so to have different effects based on what we hit. So what we want to do is make a new script and we'll call it uh, entity type and we make an enum in here to have different uh, IDs for our entities. So public enum entity types. Oops. And in here we say booty and rock. Then public entity types entity type. Okay? Perfect. Go back to Unity and when I put this script right here on every entity that we make from now on. Uh, we open rock, I'll just do it like this. Okay, and we'll set this to rock. Then we go back to our booty. And we also add entity type and by default it's already on booty. Okay, so now we go back to our boat player, boat collision, and when we touch an entity, we want to know what type of entity it is. Okay, so we want to write switch, and we'll say collision dot get component entity type dot entity type. 
I press backspace to automatically put my solutions. I want to delete default, I want to space them. So if we hit booty, we want to destroy our booty. And we also want to add score. So we're just going to put a little reminder in here. If we hit a rock though, we want to lose. To do that, we for now we're just going to write a debug log. You lost. Okay, so let's go back to Unity and I'm just going to organize a bit these things in here. I like to put components on top and then my own scripts at the bottom. Okay, and let's drag a rock in here. So in theory, we are going to destroy that booty. We're also going to destroy that booty from the finish line. And that rock, when it's going to hit us, there's going to be a message on the console that says you lost. So let's try. And yep, you lost. Okay, so thank you for watching. In the next episode, we'll talk a bit about procedural generation, a way to actually spawn automatically our enemies and our booties. So see you in the next video.